Hi, Todd Martin here with The Walking Code. In this video, I'm going to explore the action of lumbar spine rotation as we walk. Remember, if you like this video, please thumbs up, share it, and subscribe. There are three divisions to our core, which I've described before. That's the rotation of the thoracic spine in the chest, the rotation of the lumbar spine in the abdomen, and the actions of our hip joints. As I said, I'm going to focus in this video on the actions of the lumbar spine. I refer to the lumbar spine rotation as the rooting action of any movement meaning the rotation of the lumbar spine roots my body or tethers my body to the ground by tilting or rotating the pelvis. When I rotate my lumbar spine, it rotates the pelvis at the same time. So when I rotate my lumbar spine using my lower abdominal muscles towards the right leg, it turns the pelvis towards that right leg creating a root of my weight into that right leg. At the same time, it turns the pelvis away from the left leg, removing weight or removing root from the left leg. So even if I'm moving forwards, let's say I'm pushing my hip off, but I'm rotating my lower abdominal towards the right leg, the lower abdominal rotation pushing my pelvis back keeps my right leg rooted to the ground. Whereas if I actually, during the same motion, now turn my lower abdominal muscles to the left, I now remove the root from my right leg and place the root on my left leg. Why the lower abdominal rotation is so important is because it not only roots the leg, but it also helps to pull the body forwards in a way that sometimes we can't see if we're just looking at the leg actions when we're moving. So as I describe in my other videos, we pull the body forward using the muscles on the standing leg side when I take a step, rather than pushing the body forward with the rear hip. How do we pull the body forward what we're doing is using our lumbar spine rotation to pull back on the pelvis on my left side, if I'm using my lower abdominals on the left, it's essentially pulling my pelvis back on the left, pulling against the ground, and at the same time pulling my right side of the pelvis forward or pulling that leg off the ground. Let's look at it again if I were to keep my leg forward like this. When I rotate my lower abdomen, I am tucking the pelvis on this side, pulling the body forward, almost like I'm pulling myself forward with my hand. Imagine I was lying on the ground and pulling my body forward with my hand. That's what the pelvis is doing as I rotate my lumbar spine. It is pulling against the ground, pulling the body forward. That is why I don't need to push the body forward with my rear leg hip, which a lot of people mistakenly do. I am actually pulling the body forward with the rotation of my lumbar spine. Then I can complete the step, continuing to rotate the lumbar spine and turning the pelvis. So my lumbar spine action, which is directed by the rotation of the lower abdominal muscles, has a large role in every step we take. It is pulling the body forward by pulling against the ground on the side of the standing leg. It is also turning the pelvis this way, which is gonna be part of the swing through portion of the step. My leg is moving forward because the pelvis is rotating this way at the same time, I'm using my thoracic spine rotation to keep my body in a straightforward direction. When we walk normally and we're just looking at the visual aspects, it's very difficult to appreciate that movement. All we see is the legs moving and we see the spine 
basically facing in one direction that looks like it's not rotating. But what we have is rotation of the lumbar spine going this way and rotation of the thoracic spine going this way to create the whole body movement.